is a cold stir. Adam Goings got it going on. Introducing first, your fighter in the red corner, representing Shunak, Kruas! And his opponent in the blue corner, representing next level, Milton Keynes, is Adam Goings! Here the referee, Mr. Paul Nichols. Final instructions given by Paul Nichols to these two young teenage fighters. A C-class MMA fight. No headshot standing, no headshots on the ground. So I reckon that's going to be determined by submissions and expert grappling skills. It was quite a lot of intensity for a, a C-class fight. Both Good guys to the legs. In. This is what you predicted, Steve. Straight into a grappling exchange. Yeah, and that might, might favor going coming from a straight BJJ gym like Next Level in Milton Keynes. But right now... Oh, oh, and he sends Ogarek back into the cage. Good use of the underhooks. Sometimes the problem with C-class fights is that you end up just throwing millions of knees and leg kicks and like, it can actually be very brutal because you're not worried about being in range. Yeah, you're just able to smash the knees. Oh, 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 oh. I could see that coming because we had Kuba walking around to the back of going. And he set that up beautifully. What's he going to do with the position? He's, he's being very patient here. This is good maturity from someone making their debut. And Look we can tell that Ogrex, yeah. K sorry, Kuba's not very, very comfortable here. He's got his hips off the ground. He's not settling here at all. He's still pushing in with his hips. <laughs> Start again? Yeah. yeah. It's all right, guys. You've got plenty of this time. This is why we have a first. I mean, he was holding Saikido. It's almost like that judo toss and the judo pin. Maybe he's, uh, he's done some judo and he was, he was trying to get the pin for the win, but that is not what we do in MMA. You've got to... Well, I look for a submission when you can't hit him in the head, really. He's moved well into mount here. Kubo is obviously a very, well, he's 17 compared to a 15-year-old fighter. He's able to muscle himself out of that, that mount position. But a good pass so far from Adam Going. Yeah, very good from Adam Going as well. You've got to remember here that you can't strike to the head. You might have trained doing that in the gym. But now it's just time for shots to the body. Ooh. I'm not seeing a very good, very strong sprawl game from Kuba here. Yeah, he's trying to set up that guillotine. It's going to be so hard against the cage. Yeah, he didn't, didn't realize the positioning himself. And it's all about getting experience at this level, trying to understand cage craft, understand your position. He's got his hand right, lock, right under the neck here. He could set up that guillotine you were speaking about, Chris. You know. He's got his arm in the right place. It's just the cage. And some, you know, a lot of gyms, especially when you're, you're early into your MMA career, maybe you haven't had the time to drill. You know, what do you do when you're pressed up against the cage here? He's, he's still got that hand wrapped, but he's not u using anything with it. He could stand up here as well. I don't think he's the head down. worried about his head. He's getting to the other side. Oh, he might have made things worse there. He might have made things worse. It seems he, there in. doesn't seem to be a, an arm in in that girl. Oh, slamming out of it, lovely. Oh, but sometimes that makes it deeper. Oh. He's, got, he's got to push him away now. He uses his hips and extends his body. Get the team. I quite like I it. I do like it, but he needs to pin pinch that elbow down in order to get that submission. Yeah, he needs to push away with the legs. I could see. You can just see that he's not pushing away with the legs. He doesn't have his hands connected at the moment. Yep. I think he's given up on it to try and throw some submissions up from the bottom. <laughs> Looked fairly close. Very good. Nice little kick away there. He can kick to the legs. Here. Oh, last 10 seconds of the fight. And I'm going. Almost gives up position again. Oh, he does. Good. Some, a bit more slick. Oh, he's looking for the guillotine of himself there. Well, wow, that was very backwards and forwards. Well, the hip toss was the highlight of that round for me. Yes, it had to be the hip toss that allowed Adam going to dictate the situation there and take control of the fight early on. If you're a 17-year-old fighting a 15-year-old, I feel like all the pressure's on the older guy. And especially once he just got thrown by the younger man, he's going to have to come back with something big in this second round. Yeah. Yeah. Round two. There we go, touch of gloves, good show, show of sportsmanship. You'll see the hands being carried a little bit lower because it's only body shots. And again, yeah, it's a strange guard when you're only worried about being hit in the body. You can, you can hang your chin out there. Good kick to the body there from, from Kubo. Maybe he wants to keep it standing a bit more. Spinning good something around there. He's got to use this underhook again, but if he hasn't made the adjustment, he might just walk around those hips again. He needs to get try to get double underhooks. I'm impressed by Adam Gowing's pressure. Look, driving his hip in, he's got good position. Pushing off that back leg. I think he's practiced this in the gym. Yeah. Make it dirty. Use your knees. Like he might might use to elevate that. 
He's looking to walk the hip in front he's again, Chris. Think, yeah, he was looking for another hip throw. He's trying to set it up. But, oh, a bit of a recovery from Kuba. Again, no head position from either of these boys. Their heads are really far away from each other, and that's a real good point for them to pick up, putting the head into the neck of their opponent to yep. push them away. It's, just, it's an extra limb, isn't it, Steve? You've got a little bit more control using it. Got to use that head. This is a thinking man sport. Yep. Knee comes to the hip. That must have hurt. Again, oh, again. Trying to pull the legs away. Kuba allows the legs to get sucked up. Oh, excellent. He's just using... He's, he's not necessarily losing the grappling exchange, Kuba. He's losing the wrestling part, which is... <laughs> really what dominates the fight here and now he's he's on his butt he's been taken down that's what he should have been doing when he was still on his feet yep pushing yep. the head away controlling the posture of, of adam going but now adam's back on top in arguably a better position i think adam going has done some judo the way he pins the legs the the top control the pressure the throw he kind of seems like a judo guy but then the problem with it, a lot of judo guys is that the focus can be on the actual throw itself. You get it up on or on the pin on the floor, but not so much on submissions. I know some of them do do submissions, but it's less of a part of the game because you don't get much time on the floor. Very little follow through from judo. That's my... Oh, he's trying for a body scissors. A super duper oh, squeezy so body scissors cool. with his hands as well. Can you imagine if he won I by body scissors? It'd be our first on Battle Arena. It does look like a little super painful. painful. But no, he can't hold it for that long, right? It's very hard to squeeze that. Look, he goes for it again in this... Adam Going's got to be like, if I survived that last time, I would rather die than tap to that, I've got to be honest. Uh, you can't compress the body? You can't compress the uh, body? Maybe. Just, his legs are going to be all wobbly. Yeah, that's a big old squeeze. <laughs> looks like Bambi at the moment, walking around. But Adam used to do that body fun. scissors in the old school BDJ back in the day, but no one does it anymore because uh, in a cold trip, we don't tap. Here it comes. Big hey, trip, big trip. Oh, not so big, but he got it now. And he's almost in, in a cradle position. I know you like that wrestler's cradle, Steve. He's got the headlock. He could get rolled over the top. He's not careful just like that. Oh, he got the hook in. Yeah, get the hooks in there, Adam. I can feel a twister coming. He's in good position for it. <laughs> Maybe that's what I'm missing. I don't know if you can have spinal locks at, at C-Class. Ah, throw it in. See what happens. It's easier to ask forgiveness than permission, Steve. Oh, he's going for a banana split. It's going to happen. I don't think he knows it. That's okay. Wow. I, I want to see some urgency yes. here from Kubo. I really do. Yeah, I, I think Kubo, his corner has got to tell him that he's two rounds down. He's, he's been taken down, the big throw in the first one. You, but the, yeah, he's two rounds down. I mean, the urgency. It's I just want to urgency. Yeah. you got to go out there and try to make it into I a schoolyard brawl now, okay? Because evidently a lot of your technique is not working in the stand-up. You've got to try to muscle this kid to the mat and try to and finish him off now. Because he's throwing shots, he's got to throw some submissions. Yeah. Yes. Start smashing stuff on. I'd come out and just shoot go. deep, and then if I miss the shot, pull guard and start just throwing submissions up from the bottom. Mm -hmm. You know, he had, he had his opportunity there, and he decided to squander it. I think with that yeah. body scissors. I like the body scissors though. Like <laughs> it's good to see something a bit different. Nice Great one. creativity. I was a bit confused there for a moment. I thought maybe he was trying to do like a like that kind of head scissors um, TP choke, but he obviously wasn't in there. Well, she on MMA. They're they're trying to g their fighter up. I don't think you need to do that with Adam going. He's got that kind of flaming ginger sort of <laughs> approach. He's coming here riding on his fiery horse, and he's ready to take victory. So I don't know if Cooper's got anything to answer for, but in this third, this third round, you've got to pull it out, man. Think back to those old WWE SmackDown days and start wrestling. Good, I love it. Oh, there we go. We see what Cooper wanted to do. That's more like it. That's more like That's it. Now we see the urgency from Cooper. That's what I'm talking about. Six minutes ago. Good job, Kuba. <laughs> Good job, Adam Going. He's, start, st he's starting to use his hips. He's trying to climb his legs a bit higher. He's got an underhook there on the left side. Oh, he's trying to pull on the arm. What is he trying to set up here? Maybe a triangle. He's trying to control one arm and push the other. Oh, he's got to be, it doesn't want to actually... It's moving backwards, but it's kind of the wrong... Well, you can use this case to stand up, but I think in a C-class rules fight, if I was a guy on the bottom with closed guard, you know, you'll take a few body shots. I'll just be trying to set up some missions, but we see some stalling from Kuba, I thought, almost there. Just holding the hips, not doing very little. Well, he's been trying to land bombs, although, ooh, that was a good shot right through the middle end of the solo plexus. Yeah, if I was Kuba, I'd be doing everything I could to try and pass right now. And maybe sit back for a leg lock, just throw something up. Because you're two rounds down, you've got to try and get a submission. No, looking for the Kimura on the right side. Oh, very good. I'm going, showing some prowess here. Showing me that he's going to be another one of these fresh-faced assassins. Put him against one of the Cooper's MMA lot in the next go. Loving it. Yeah, there's, there's a whole gym oh. of baby-faced assassins. Look at triangle from the bottom. Yep. 
I quite like that. He's got long legs, skinny opponent, really controls the posture yeah. as well and can, you know, allow you to get some, some power. I think he's trying to sweep. He's being very active. Kubo's being smart, keeping his head in the middle of the body. But again, like we're saying, he's got to try to look to finish this. Because even though this will be the punctuating mark in this fight, it's not going to be enough to finish it. Oh, triangle. Arm bar. Arm bar. Arm bar. <laughs> That is not an armor. Is He's it? got the arm around the wrong way, but that's a kind of an armor platter, I'd say. Oh, slammed up, but ended up in it. Now he's got the actual armor platter, but he let go of the hand. He should have kept the hand. You've got the shoulder lock there. Oh, let's see. Oh, oh we're back and guard, back and guard again in a moment. But I mean, without the ground and pound, you've got to be saying that actually Adam Gowing is winning. He's like, well, yeah, now he's winning. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> so there from we the go. His legs are, that's a really awkward position. He's so stacked and he's got the cage oh, in the way. calls for him to switch into the armbar. I'd like to see that. Yeah, I think so. Switch the head on the arm. He's going foot on the hip. He's trying to get the angle. That's intelligent jiu-jitsu there. I'll see him walk that in front. If he can just walk it in front, he might be able to get that armbar. Oh, it's going to be slammed out of it. Sometimes oh, slammed into it. Thing. Yeah, it makes it worse. You just get it deeper. That's exciting. There he's we go. He's it up. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Now he's got to angle off. He's angling the wrong way. He's hooked the wrong leg. Oh no, Mr. Adam Gowing, your Allowing your left yourself arm. to be stacked. Your left arm, that's it. Now he's pulling the leg with his left arm. That was better. He made a, a little mistake there, just turning in the wrong direction. Oh, wow. Short time. Oh, he switched to an upside down armbar, which is just the wrong way. The wrong way. But at least he was trying to set it up. That was good. That was a good showing, I think. Really, really what good. What a fight. <laughs> nice submission. I enjoyed that C-class match. All right, let me know who wins. Adam Gowing a bit disappointed he didn't get that triangle. That was a very good show from him. Excellent work. He hit some good body shots. Took some good body shots there in the third round. And then here we are. Him almost trying, you know, fighting for the finish there in the, at the end of the third. Kuba Ogarek, just a little bit too slow to start with in the first two rounds. But then he comes out and absolutely steamrolls him for the first minute and a half of the, of the third. A little bit back and forth there. Maybe you'd benefit from some headshots, Kuba. But I'm sure I'll see both of these young men, whatever the, the result, in the next battle arena.